I recently got a question from someone who had a handheld digital recorder that came bundled with Cubase LE. They had an entire concert recording and they wanted to take individual pieces of music and turn those into separate audio files in Cubase LE. Let's take a look at how to do that. First, we want to import the audio file. You may need to copy the audio file directly to the computer's hard drive or maybe open from the actual hard drive of the unit itself, if it allows it. We want to go to your file menu to import audio file. We'll select the file, and now this file is going to be imported directly into your Cubase timeline. So we see our project here. Now one thing to be aware of is that we can see each of the pieces of the concert here. Now, if we exported the files, one thing to be cognizant of to split this up is that we want to set the left and right locators around the beginning and end. An easy way of doing this is to use the second tool, which is the range tool. We could right click to select the range tool, select the range, and then hit the letter P as in Paul from your computer keyboard. That will set the left and right locators based on the selection range. We want to go to File to then Export Audio Mixdown. At this point, we can give the file a name. Just type in something random. Where we want this file to be saved to. So you can have your uh, standard file dialog box whether you want it to be what sample rate, what bit depth, and you may also want to check the add to audio track and add to pool. And this will allow you to visually see the file as it's re-imported into the project. So now I hit export. It's gonna break down that individual file. I hit okay. And then we can see that a new track has been added for that particular file. So now let's do it for the second piece. So again, I'm gonna select it with the range tool, which is still active. Hit the letter P, go to file, to export, audio mix down, give it another name. We'll again, check the bit depth. If you're doing for an audio CD, you may want it to be 44.1 for the sample rate and 16 bit. And again, we'll choose to import it to the audio track and to the pool. Export. And we'll see that this will actually go into a new track on the same exact time frame. Hit OK. And now we'll just do one more. Again, hit the letter P. Export audio mix down. Give it a unique name. Again, export to the audio track. Now these are all separate audio files that have now been exported directly into your Cubase project. But if you go to the path, there'll be the individual audio files. So if you wanted to convert those to MP3, in some program, or if you wanted to burn an audio CD in programs like WaveLab, you could do it very easily. So as you can see, taking a contiguous long recording with multiple pieces of music and being able to split it up is very simple using Cubase LE. If you found this video useful, please feel free to click on like and subscribe to the YouTube channel.